Hey everyone, it's Sara, and I was editing my haul that I had filmed, and I realized I hadn't filmed any sort of introduction. All of my um, little segments, uh, you know, it was just like, here's the next shop, whatnot. And so, uh, you know, here's the introduction to the haul. I am filming a haul uh, that you will be watching today. Um, but I thought I'd pull in, um, I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I bought some washi, so I thought, oh, I'll just show that while I'm here. Um, so this is just, they're like tubes of decorative tape. Um, and I've always gone to Michael's and so I don't have really any Hobby Lobby um, tapes really. But that's the craft store in my town. I don't have a Michael's. Um, it's about an hour away from me. So um, Hobby Lobby is my, my only option for, for crafting. So um, I went there yesterday and I found these and they were 50% off. So this one is like a dark blue floral. Then we have this, it's like blue and I think it's, it's kind of a coppery gold. So I don't know if it's supposed to be rose gold, but I think it is. Um, and then white stripes. Then we have this one that kind of reminds me of like a birthday banner of some sort, but it's just all sorts of different colors. Then we have the dark blue with the leaves that are in the gold foil or rose gold foil. Then we have these like little, it's a skinny one with little triangles, which is really cute. Then we have this one, which has, it's like a solid foil and then it has like the dots of white. It almost reminds me of like a paint splatter. Um, is really pretty and then we have this one that has arrows which I think is really cute as well I, the problem with me is sometimes I buy washi and then I just never use it so I really want to use this especially in like a horizontal spread I feel like it'd be really fun to pull in a lot of washi and then we have this one which has like the blue white and rose gold stripes that are uh, horizontal and then we have this one which is the mint with the foiled flowers so really cute and then the other one I got was just kind of a like multicolor rainbow of the skinny washi um, but I've been dying or not dying but like itching to do a uh, spread in my hourly that's definitely more hourly based um, you know where I block off the times that I'm doing things and so um, I, did, I didn't do it this week since I am not working and a lot of my tasks are just kind of do it for a little bit then come back to it later um, or there's not really any you know hard and fast things that I have to do at particular times um, but this one I thought would be fun to pull in maybe next week or uh, you know in the future I also thought this one would be fun to pull into my horizontal just to kind of mark off sections um, because I've been watching a lot of you know horizontal videos um, and some people do uh, you know more with washi and divide things into special sections and I just think that'd be kind of fun to try um so anyways this was just kind of a skinny washi tape I think they're all it doesn't say how wide they are but they're um not they're about header size I guess would be probably a, a great explanation about header size and width um so anyways that was everything I gotten from Hobby Lobby and then here is the rest of my haul Next, I have an order from Exo Mama Plans, and I ordered during the Ultimate Planner sale, and she always has ridiculously fast shipping. I placed an order pretty soon to the start of the, uh, you know, sale, um, and she had shipped it, like, that day, or, you know, within a couple of hours. She's always just super speedy. So, I got tons of freebies because I had, you know, she was giving away uh, freebie packs and I can't remember what she was doing I think it was freebie packs for the first 40 orders or something like that but um, they weren't like her jumbo freebie packs that she's done in the past or whatever where she's had like every shop that she's had a sampler for has gone into it but I still felt like I got a lot of samplers so I'm like I don't know how many samplers she had total but I feel like I got like a jumbo freebie pack even though she said it was just gonna be a couple of shops um, so the first thing I have is this one from Golden Planner Co. Just a lot of cute, like, summery deco. This would be cute to pull into, like, a spread, um, if you didn't have extra full boxes. Then we have this one from Little Miss Papery. And this one actually, I think, matches the kit I had bought from her, so I'll have to put it in with that. Then we have this one from It's Planning Time. Very cute. I don't know what this, um, I don't know if I've seen this artwork before, but it's kind of like a planning-themed artwork. 
Then we have a little spark design, which is on a premium matte paper. And I got, that was the other shop I ordered from and oh, I love it. So I'll show you that next. Um, then we have Pookie Bear Cuties, very cute. I love this little post-it note. Then we have Cor Corses, I don't know how you say it. Corsa Creations, I don't know. I'm saying that wrong, I know I am. K-O-R-S-E-H. Um, but very cute, kind of different, like the little heart and the little bridge, very cute. Then we have K Glam Co. This one is definitely like a premium matte paper as well. Very cute. Then we have Planning with JB. I like the little washi stack, it's really cute. Then we have Bella Bello XO Planning. And I like her little characters. I love the cow. I didn't know she had a cow. So I might have to go check out her shop again because now that I live in Wisconsin, I feel like I should get more cow themed things, maybe. <laughs> and then we have uh, this little die cut that says living off coffee and sunshine. Very cute. And then we have the regular freebie for Exo Mama plans. And then this was like a bigger freebie that she was doing for the sale. So very nice. I always like ordering during shops during the sales, like the group sales, because usually they'll do, you know, lots of nice freebies like that. Um, which is always just a bonus. So the first thing I got were these little printers. And I just thought they were cute. I thought these would be nice for printing out inserts or, um, you know, just printing out anything. You know, paperwork, things like that. Um, and these are kind of cutesy, but uh, I still thought I'd pick them up. And hopefully I'll be able to use them in a lot of spreads. And then we have the washi tapes. I think these are cute. Um, I realized I just didn't have any washi stickers. And so um, that was one thing I wanted to pick up. Then I'm running out of workout stickers, I've realized. And so I got this one. It is just uh, her running shoes. Oh, it's just her shoes sticker. Um, but I like it because you have some smaller ones and then you have the bigger size as well, which is a nice variety. Then I got these. These are so cute. I wish I had had these like during all of my studying. But I figure now that I'll have free time, I'll be able to read a lot more. Um, and so here are like the little books with the glasses. I like those a lot. And then we have these little paperclip stickers just for nice for marking reminders or things where you don't really have an icon to mark it. Uh, that's good to pull in. And then last but not least, we're pool day stickers. Um, pool days, washies, and printers. I think we're all like the three stickers I had asked if shops had and she actually had them all. So that is great. Um, so anyways, that was everything I had from XO Mama Plans. And then the other shop that I had ordered from during the Ultimate Planner sale was Little Spark Design, and this was a new shop to me, and I love it. So, once again, this one had, uh, or she was also doing a, you know, giveaway, or a, you know, bundle of samplers for the first so many orders. So, you'll have some of the same ones. So, this is the same one from Planning with JB. Then we have this one from Raspberry Designs. You have the one from XO Mama Plans. Pookie Bear Cuties. This one is Cricut Paper Co. And I've never tried her paper. She has like a vinyl paper. Oh gosh, it feels so nice. I don't know how you'd write on it, but it feels so cool. I really like it. So I might have to try her out sometime. And then we have another one from Little Miss Papery, which is an artwork that I don't have. I have a set of date covers from the Paperly Boutique in this artwork, um, so I might stick it with that. And then, getting into my order, um, I guess we also have this freebie. She was doing a different freebie, I think, for each day of the sale. And I really liked this artwork. I'm not sure. I didn't see a kit with it in her shop, um, but I do think it's really nice. And it's on her premium matte paper, which is just very buttery and delicious. So here is what I picked up. I picked up, a, she has a lot of cute little icons. And so I picked up these little sticker sheet icons. I just thought those would be great for marking down Etsy orders. Then we have the pool day sticker, which is how I found her shop in the first place because I had asked for pool day sticker recommendations in the Facebook group. And I just liked hers because um, a lot of pool day stickers have blue in them. And this one was nice because it's, you know, just the swimsuit and then the font is black. So 
would be really easy to pull in um, to, you know, just a, a colored spread. Then we have the little shoe stickers. I think these are awesome for working out. The yoga mats, which I haven't done a ton of yoga, but I still thought these were really cute. And then the uh, kettlebells for working out and the like gym icons or the, oh gosh, what are those called? Weights icons. And these little prescription bottles, which are so cute. And I love her color scheme. It's like a pastel. She has some that are in like a brighter color scheme as well, but most of them are, are just in the pastel colorway um, as far as I could see. But I liked these because a lot of the, pers or a lot of the stickers I pick up um, that are multicolored are very bright colorways. And so the pastels are great for pulling into other spreads. And I liked the black as well. So that was everything from Little Spark Design. I really, really liked it. And she shipped super fast as well. She shipped maybe it was either the same day or the day after the sale. And so it was awesome. So very, very nice. And I do recommend. So that was everything from Little Spark Design. Okay, next I have an order from another Canadian shop, and this is my first time ordering from Let's Plan It. You get this little journaling card, um, and she does have a rewards program, but I didn't, like, order enough to get the rewards sticker. Um, but that is also on the back of this. And then I ordered just one kit. I had won some shop credit to her shop. And I, you know, was trying to be good about my spending and whatnot because it was when I was moving. And so I just kept it to one kit. The kit was just a little bit expensive, and in my opinion, you know, before the discount code. Uh, it's just a mini kit, four pages on her premium matte paper. And it was somewhere in the range of $16, um, you know, US dollars for the kit. Um, which I thought was just a little expensive. Usually the, the, uh, well, what do you call, like the conversion from Canadian to US usually ends up making things a little bit cheaper. Um, but I just thought this one was just a tad on the expensive side. Granted, it is very beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, just if I ordered again, I'd make sure to find a, a coupon code um, for sure. So the first thing we have here are the full boxes. It is like a really mountainy themed kit. I'm not sure what it's actually called, but I just thought this was really cute. I mean, and it's an anytime kit where, you know, I feel like it could fit into pretty much any season really easily. So I'll probably just hoard it until I go visit my parents or go somewhere to the mountains because where I'm living now, I don't have any mountains. And so it's very sad. Um, and then we also have a couple of these little scallop labels, which are really, really pretty. Then we have this sheet which has the weekend banner, a whole bunch of script stickers, flags, scallop labels again, and then we have a whole bunch of icons and checklists. Then we have the half boxes, quarter boxes, and then some like washi strips. Are these? Yeah, I think those are, oh, they're cut. So it's actually like two different sizes of washi strips in there. So that's kind of cool. And then we have this sheet that has the bottom washi and bildus and a bunch of icons. So very, very pretty kit. And this is such unique artwork. I don't think I've seen it in any other shops. Um, very, very beautiful. So that was everything I had from Let's Plan It. Up next, I have an order from Prickled Pear Studio. And I have totally missed Kristen while she was on maternity leave. But now she is back and I am so happy. So the first thing I have in my order are a couple of uh, her doodle stickers. So these are her character Prickles, and she's a little cactus, but this is the ice cream sheet. And so just a ton of ice cream themed stickers. And I think my favorite is the ice cream sandwich one, which is also awesome because I don't think I've really seen ice cream sandwich stickers. So it'll be perfect to use when the time comes. The next one I have is the movie stickers. These are perfect for going to the movie and you could even write in the movie along the film strip if you wanted to. But I love like the little movie tickets and the popcorn. I just think it's perfect. And then the last one that I have is her Prickles like Mexican food sheet, Mexican takeout. 
and I think <laughs> Brickles bathing in a pool of queso is perfect. So I <laughs> think that's really cute. So that was, those were the first couple sheets I had. And then next up I have a monthly kit. This is the August monthly and I love how bright and vibrant it is. I need to still pick up a second monthly for my memory planner, but this is definitely going in my main, main planner uh, for August. So the first thing we have are the cover-ups for the top. We have all of the little dates and I like that they're squares because I think they'll be pretty easy to put down and you know not be crooked. And then we have some little labels as well. Then we have this sidebar sheet. So you have some little checklists, headers, and then some like decorative boxes to put at the top and bottom or kind of mix in your sidebar. And then we have the dates that aren't in the month, the little cover-ups. It looks like there's three and then a one. So I haven't looked at August, but I'm sure it correlates with, uh, you know, the dates that aren't in the month, obviously. So <laughs> anyways, then we have some, these ones are not quite half boxes or, um, or I don't know, like these ones are bigger than these ones, if that makes sense. So there's four that are kind of big, but the, then there's four that are bigger. And then we have some little icons as well. Um, and I think the, the little doodles are really cute. And then the last thing we have are the July Wacky Holidays. And I love her Wacky Holidays. It's been a little while, but I can't wait to use these. I think it'll be fun. I think I'm going to put them in my memory monthly, like my monthly memory spread. And I think it'll be perfect. Uh, but I think... There's just a ton of fun holidays. And then you have cutie and you have prickles here at the bottom with like a happy birthday, happy birthday stickers, which is really fun just, you know, to fill out the sheet and kind of monthly events that, that would be happening, I guess. So that is everything I got from Pickle, Prickle Pear Studio. And I do have a fun code for Kristen's shop down below um, and you can mention my name for an extra freebie. And then I have a new to me shop. This is Tiny Little Tulip. And I had had some of her things in my cart for a while. And then she ended up having a 4th of July sale. So I obviously had to, you know, take advantage and um, order. So the first thing I have is her freebie. This is just on a regular matte paper, but all of my stickers are on a premium matte. Um, but just very cute little doodles. She has a lot of cute icon stickers or doodle stickers I guess so the first thing I have are these little shoes and it's kind of funny like a little ironic because it's called tiny little little tulip but um these are actually kind of big stickers um here I have these sitting on my desk so in comparison to a half box they're quite large uh, but I think they'll be really nice I, I just like the color variety um, and it, well, it's kind of nice to have different sizes of stickers um you know, bigger, smaller, or whatnot. So I think I'll still get a lot of use out of them, but and they were definitely, you know, quite large. And, and the sheets are quite large, too. Then we have these little prescription bottles, and I love the color variety. I think I went through, and there's only, like, a row and a half of duplicates. Um, and so I think that'll be just really great, because there's just so many colors, and especially when you have kits that have really unique colors, I feel like you'll be able to find a lot of those colors in her like selection of colors then we have the knitting stickers I love these and that was part of the reason I think I found her shop in the first place was looking for knitting stickers and so it's like a basket of yarn with the knitting needles poking up again very nice variety of colors then we have some church stickers and so I just thought these would be nice because I feel like I'm always running out of icons and then we have the stethoscopes, again, just for marking work. And again, I love the color selection. And then we have some more knitting ones. Um, and this one I just think is really cute. Like in the detail in it is really cute as well. So very, very cute. Uh, first order from Tiny Little Tulip, but I definitely, definitely love these stickers. Uh, so that was all from Tiny Little Tulip. Next, I have an order from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I ordered during her, I think it was her graduation sale. And so she was having 15% off, which is, I think, the highest code I ever really see her do. 
And so I knew I wanted to pick up a couple of things and, you know, while I could take advantage. So the first thing we have here is a little die cut and it's just the little emoji wearing like the little jumper or onesie. Then we have the little freebie uh, with, I love the little washi stack and then a couple other emojis. And then getting into the sheets that I ordered, the first thing I ordered were the drinking emojis. I just thought these were fun for, you know, um, girls nights, going to a brewery, things like that. I think they'll just be really fun. Then we have baking. I think those will be fun, especially as the holidays get closer. I think I'll get a lot of use out of them. Then we have uh, the Happy AF sheet. Um, and I just think these are just really cute. Um, I have a lot of, like my emotion stickers are all munchkins, I think, for the most part. So I wanted to pick up a couple of emotions that were uh, the Coffee Monster Co. Um, emojis. Then we have the ice cream sheet. I love the little Ben and Jerry's one. That one is super cute. Um, but especially like summertime, it's a great time to use this sheet. Then I got the summer bucket list, which I think is super cute. You know, like learn something new, how to stay ever, snow cone, catch up on planner. Um, so th I think that'll be really fun. And I feel like my summer really hasn't begun because I've been studying so much. So hopefully if I pass my tests, this will be, you know, put to good use. So then we have the two year anniversary sampler. And I really like when shops offer a sampler of their characters just because then you can kind of try out a lot of different stickers before you commit to a full sheet of them. Um, so that is the two year one. And then we have the shopping emojis, and I liked that there were, you know, kind of a, a variety of grocery store and, you know, like, fun shopping, I guess, um, or just kind of shopping, like, Etsy and mall shopping, I guess. And then we have the wine time emojis, uh, same as the drinking emojis, just kind of fun, fun to have. And then we have TV Addict, I just think those are really really nice to have um, and I love the variety as well in the sheet because it's like this one I feel like I could do for you know a regular movie or for um you know just sitting at home and watching a movie and then you know you could have uh you know tv I watch a lot of movies on my laptop um you could do it for youtube etc then I got the sad emojis again just to try to mix up my character sheets um, and I feel like I'm almost out of my sad munchkins um, because I feel like, you know, they're pretty functional for, you know, having a bad day or whatnot. This one I feel like you could also use if you're really tired. And then I got the vampire emojis. Honestly, I kind of, I kind of just thought they would be useful. I think she had it on a couple of samplers or something to that effect. And I used it when I went to Forks, Washington and I thought, you know, if I read the Twilight series again, it'd just be kind of fun to pull some of these in. Or if I ever had to get, like, blood drawn for, um, you know, a lab or, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun. So, if I ever have to draw someone else's blood or something, um, I just thought these would be kind of useful. Um, like, an unpredictably uh, useful sticker is my, my thoughts on it. And it was 15% off, so I figured why not. So that was everything from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then last but not least for this haul, I have an order from EBGB and it was picking up one of my favorite sheets and then also doing a little bit of a custom on one of my favorites. So uh, the first thing I have here is the freebie. I always love her freebies, they're super functional. Um, and then she always gives it in different colors. So a very nice blue shade. And then we'll go with my old favorite is her doodle boxes. I actually used up an entire sheet of the uh, doodle boxes in this colorway. And so I just wanted to pick up another sheet to restock. And then I used her stethoscope stickers oh, a couple weeks ago. And I love the way it turned out. I just think it was really cool, especially because it, it wasn't too overwhelming um, because you have a ton of white space. Um, but it also, you know, had enough room to write in and 
you know, do everything. And then you also have these other stethoscopes at the top to use as an icon as well um, if you're not using the boxes themselves. And so I ended up getting a couple of different uh, custom colors. So I, they come in red in the shop and then I had asked her if she could do other colors as well. And she said I could pick any color that she has, you know, uh, for her color palettes. And so I did them in, let's see, this one is gold. So it's just a nice yellow color. Then this one is mint, so minty green. And I tried to do colors based off of the kits that I have, you know, coming up in my, you know, to be used uh, kits. Then we have a, a peach color. This one is, I think this one's sky. It's just like a blue shade. And then we have midnight, which is like a darker blue. And then we have plum, which is just a really pretty purple. And then we have storm. So I am very much in love with those. I need to pick up more, you know, as I as I use them. But I just think they're really awesome and, and especially kind of a fun way to mark work. Um, like I said, so that was everything uh, from EBGB and that was also everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will just catch you in my next video. Bye now.